Tiny New York. This is where William Williamson was born. You may ask, who was Lil William Williamson? Well, you will soon find out. No, 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 blast it! That's just the wrong story. Just a month by James J. Ah, here we are. What a great start to a long cross this life. I must say to myself, William Winston was born to a very wealthy family. For most of his younger years, William was raised by his grandmother, who some may say spoiled him too much. Grandmother, may I borrow $10 for a new toy? Yes, dear. Thank you. Wow! I got $10! At the age of 12, William left with a missionary to live with the Mohawk Indians. Oh, white friend, you not, man. You're just a small boy. <laughs> At 13, William went to Yale University. Soon after graduating, William discovered he wanted to do for the rest of his life. He wanted to draw and paint. <laughs> This ruined William's dreams, but his family needed an attorney. But William didn't have it all bad. He fell in love with young Su Susanna French. Hey William, there's Susanna. I want to go talk to her. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, I see you looking at her all the time. William, she just blew a kiss at you. Now you have to go talk to her. William? William? But William's family forbid him from marrying her because she wasn't wealthy enough. His family had a tradition of marrying to other wealthy families, but this was sabotaged when Susanna became pregnant with William. Welcome to the call, man. Here we have three rules. Rule number one, don't die. Rule number two, do as you are told unless you are spoken to. And rule number three, no party breaks. Oh, come on! Do you understand me? In 1787, William was chosen to be one of New Jersey's delegates at the Constitutional Convention. He had high expectations for the Constitution. In 1787, he wrote a letter to his friend which read, Letter for you, sir. I have lived to see adopted a new Constitution which promises national happiness. William lived to see the ripe old age of 66, where he died at Liberty Hall in July 22nd, 25th of 1790. The British are coming! The British are coming!